Thanks for joining me on episode 868 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Paul Son from Cara. I challenge you to discover your true identity and calling so you can be empowered to live every day to the fullest. One way to be inspired to do that is to listen to this, the Inspired Stewardship Podcast with my friend Scott Mater. And the truth is, they may be a million times worse than someone else's, but they're still the challenges that you have. They're still what you have to work to overcome. And that may not be fair. That may not be right. It may not be easy. But the fact is, if you take on the mindset of this is what it is and now what can I do about it, as opposed to this is what it is and this is the way it will always be. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about developing your influence by stewarding your time, I talk with you about how it takes time to overcome adversity. I share how it's always worth spending the time to help you unpack and overcome any past adversity that you've had. I also share how we all have some level of adversity, but they're all different. As we talk about stewarding your time, wouldn't it be great if you could support this podcast and do it without just taking too long? Turns out you can't. All you have to do is use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon when you're ready to make a purchase via Amazon, and a small commission will come back to support the show just that quick. If you enjoy the show when you are ready to buy from Amazon, just use inspiredstewardship.com slash Amazon. One thing that happens to all of us from time to time is we have things in our life that we look at as negative, we look at as challenges, we have to overcome some sort of adversity, some sort of disadvantage. Now, the truth is we all walk in different ways, and we'll talk more at the end about why that's important to realize, but I think almost everyone, it's part of the human condition, has a tendency to see at least some things that have happened in their life as adversity, as challenges, as things they have to overcome. And the truth is, one of the things that we need to do is recognize that, acknowledge that, accept that, and then actually spend the time and the energy that it takes to overcome those things. See, the truth is, overcoming any challenge, overcoming any adversity, overcoming and making changes in ourselves, in the people around us, in our environment, in our career, in our education, in any area of life, to make change takes time. There's very seldom a true epiphany of overnight change where today it's all one way and tomorrow it's all another. Even if you have a massive life-changing event, like you suddenly won the lottery and you've got a check for $40 million, it doesn't change everything overnight. Instead, it tends to act as a magnifying glass and bring out things that were already there. I'm thinking now, too, of things like COVID, where we've all been going through challenges and struggles over the last year. And a lot of times people are using those as an excuse. The reason things aren't going well is because of COVID, when the reality is things weren't going well for them before COVID. And all COVID has done is brought more attention to that, brought it more to the level and bubbled it out. So it's become more obvious to them. And that can be a good thing because the first step to overcoming any challenge is actually recognizing that there's a challenge. Until you see that there's a problem, you're not going to put any time and energy into fixing the problem either. That's the truth. The truth is that we all have to work hard to overcome adversity. And because it takes hard work, it also takes time. It's not something that happens instantaneously. 
But the truth is, it's worth spending that time. It's worth getting coaching. It's worth getting therapy. It's worth getting counseling. It's worth working on yourself and working on your environment, working on the things around you, and learning new skills so that you can overcome the challenges that you have. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's easy either. I'm not making light of it. And I'm not even saying that all of us have the same kinds of challenges. We don't. They're all different. And that's something that we have to be aware of. I know that because of my upbringing, because of the fact that I'm a male, because of the fact that I am a white male, that there are privileges and advantages that I have had throughout my life. There are things that I don't have to worry about as much as someone else. But at the same time, there are things that I've had in my life that have created challenges for me that aren't the same as someone else's. And I'm not trying to put a value judgment on this either. I'm not saying my challenges are better or worse or harder or easier than anyone else's. They're just mine. And the challenges that you have are yours. And the truth is, they may be a million times worse than someone else's, but they're still the challenges that you have. They're still what you have to work to overcome. And that may not be fair. That may not be right. It may not be easy. But the fact is, if you take on the mindset of this is what it is and now what can I do about it, as opposed to this is what it is and this is the way it will always be, you can begin to make changes. You can begin to do the hard work to overcome what is it that I need? What are the tactics? What are the techniques? What do I need to learn? What do I need to do? What do I need to educate myself on? And trust me, it won't be easy. In fact, it may be incredibly hard. But what's more is you can actually usually find other people to go through the journey with you, not because their challenges are identical to yours, not because they're the same as you, but because You can build a relationship with them and they will walk with you. See, all of this comes down to spending the time and energy on yourself first, then finding ways to invest in others and put energy into them, and then using that as a tool to develop your influence so that you can make an impact. That's the theme that you hear over and over again in the podcast, because I truly believe that out of your adversity comes your opportunity, but only if we recognize it and spend the time and the energy to overcome it and turn it into that opportunity. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of time, be sure to sign up for our stewardship of time tips series by going to inspiredstewardship.com slash time or texting 44222 time tips And that'll get you our best tips on stewarding your time. Until next time, invest your time, your talent, and your treasures. Develop your influence and impact the world.